Kia ora everyone, I'm Huda Perez. I'm a year five teacher at Exxon Normal Primary School with an interest in science, math and digital technology. At Epsom Normal Primary School, we have the Principal Atiyah Sadaka, the Deputy Principal Dylan Rangan, who both support me with this math initiative. We have 32 teachers at Epsom Normal Primary, 28 of those are full-time teachers, and as of today we have 670 students, 36.6% of them are ESOL funded. Before we finalised our goals, we collected student voice, data that informed us that students have an interest in self-efficacy in science, but sometimes do not fully understand the relevance or importance of math in their lives. So we focused on three initiative goals this year. We trial flexible grouping in some of our classes. In last year's science impact projects evolved to focus more on mathematics this year. We explored the mathematics within STEM, making learning more relevant for our priority learners. And we are also always looking for more ways to involve our parents. The research that we used we focused on growth mindset that has played a key role in attitude changes towards math, which was influenced by the work of Dr. Min and Blackwell. We have also used Bowler's work and Hunter's research to inform flexible grouping in our classes. Our impact projects were heavily influenced by the study from Collatol, and we focused on cultural and structural trends from the core education, bringing in local expertise and changing my role in the classroom. So the first step was to change the mindset of the students. We used a Kahoot survey to explore what they thought, and we found that many students believed intelligence was determined early on and not much could be changed about it. So what have we done? <clears throat> this year, we have taken part in lots of professional development inside and outside of school. Three of the teachers in our impact project are doing their masters, one in maths, one in science, and I'm focusing on STEM. This has been great for us because each of us has been able to bring a variety of specific current theory to our practice. I'm a part of the maths team this year, and this year the school has carried out a scope and review to identify gaps in our teaching and address these with PD. We have also invited parents to share expertise in various subjects with staff and students. Maths Week has been celebrated at Ipsum Normal for 10 years. Our students enjoyed the challenge and the daily prizes that were up for grabs. Our term topic, I'm an innovator, lends itself nicely to the math week. During the week, children research, design, and constructed their own flying machines. More STEM workshops were scheduled with a heavy focus on maths, involving our Maori and Pacifica Prati learners as, as the leaders. We also hosted the maths meeting for our initiative during the week, where we shared our impact projects. So what we found was through our initiative, we implemented ACO Learning, enhanced leadership skills, reinforced scientific and maths concepts, and increased engagement. We found that through discussions, flexible grouping, and making learning more relevant to the students, their attitudes shifted and they became much more open to feedback and learning. And as you can see from the survey, we saw a noticeable development in the growth mindset within our science leaders and in my classroom. For example, the first question was, um, intelligence is something you're born with, and in the second survey, the student number doubled uh, the, from the first one where they said they strongly disagreed with the statement that intelligence was fixed uh, over a two term period. And what this shows us is that edu as educators in an ever changing world, we should always be looking to upskill ourselves with the latest research and we learn from each other, so share what you learn. Knowledge grows by sharing. Got some references here if you'd like to um, read up more. Okay.